Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into Moose Motion today. I apologize for the later upload, but unfortunately I had a lot of personal things to deal with yesterday. So I did take some time to make a special project for you all. Today we are working on the SCP-0-49 and we will be seeing the complete process through and through. And this is how I make my little armature dolls, so be sure to enjoy and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you and take care. Now there are many different ways to make armature dolls. This is just happens to be the one that I choose because it's probably the cheapest. All you really need is aluminum wire and some oven baked clay, which is regularly available on Amazon. It is not that expensive. There are other means and methods that you can use. A lot of other people tend to use a air dry putty, which honestly probably does work a little bit better, but cost wise for how much you get, it's personally not really worth the investment. Therefore I choose to use the oven baked clay because it's cheaper and easier to really sculpt with personally. Anyways, now that he's all out of the oven, we did a quick joint test to make sure nothing was going to break before we get too far into the actual build process. Now here comes some of the more daunting tasks, basically fine tuning his face because that is actually not going to be covered in clay. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a lot of fine tuning with the face and the oven clay, which is stuff isn't really the easiest to work with in comparison to plaster scene, but it is definitely doable. Now the fun part, we get to start sculpting our little SCP with plaster scene. This is the part that we actually get to start adding all the details and making them kind of look more, well, like the real thing and not just a skeleton.
Now this is one of the tools I have not yet featured on my channel and if you'd like to see the other small hand tools that I use, be sure to check out the links in the description for my other time-lapse videos including the E86 and the Orange Hot Rod. Now basically the only reason I have a pasta roller for my plaster scene is to make thin sheets which is going to definitely come in handy when we're making our little SCP's cloak here. So I mean there's other ways to do it but this is probably the easiest and most effective. Uh, you can use a hand roller and various other tools but yeah I remember stealing that from my parents as a kid and they were a little upset that I was boring the kitchen tools so don't do that kids. And after about 14 hours of work, we have our own little SCP-049. Now it did take some time off camera to give him a couple little tools like his syringe and his scalpel there, because he is a plague doctor after all, and where would he be without his equipment, right? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and or leave a comment if you have any questions on how to do your own armature dolls or stop motion videos. I am definitely more than obliged to help anybody do this because I think anyone can create your own films and it's definitely a lot of fun. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, be sure to have a fantastic day.